In this video, we provide the solution to question number 12 for practice exam number two for math 1030, in which case we're asked to use the backflow algorithm to compute the critical time priority list for the project whose, whose uh, project digraph is illustrated below. So we have to come up with the critical time priority list, but we have to also show our work by computing the critical times of each of these tasks. So I want a little bit more space here. So I'm gonna write their critical times in each of these boxes here. So starting at the very end, the end gets zero here. Who are the neighbors of the end? Um, you get K, which has uh, 20 plus zero as its critical time. You have J, whose critical time is gonna be five plus zero, like so. Um, so then who precedes J? That's only H. Um, H, it has a processing time of five. Five plus five is 10, we get that one. Um, G only precedes K, whose critical time was 20. 20 plus four is 24 naturally here. I only precedes K. So we're gonna take 15 plus 20 and get 35 like so. Um, looking at E here, whose processing time is seven, um, seven plus 35 gives us 42. Um, F here only precedes I, and so we're gonna take three plus 35 to get 38. Um, moving down here, maybe we do D next. Um, D precedes H and G. G is the more expensive one, so we're gonna take 24 plus 15, which gives a critical time of 39. Um, similarly, C precedes G and H, but G is the more expensive one at 24. So we're gonna take 10 plus 24 to give us 34, like so. Um, B only precedes F, so we're gonna take four plus 38 to get you 42. And then A only precedes E, it has a processing time of two. Two plus 42 gives us 44. And so we look at all of the uh, tasks that are preceding start. The most expensive one is 44. So that's gonna be the critical time for the whole project. So we've now completed um, the backflow algorithm. Now we're gonna look for the, the critical time priority list. So we list them based upon their critical times. A comes first, cause it's at 44. Um, next, we get B and E have a tie. Um, I'm gonna put B first because it has more descendants um, because E precedes I, but B precedes F and then, uh, then F precedes I. So I'm gonna put B first, but honestly for full credit on this one, you could do B then E or E then B. It doesn't matter because of the tie, like so. Um, after E, which is at 42, uh, the next highest one is gonna be D at 39, like so. Um, after 39, the next highest one is 38. So F comes next in our list. Um, after 38 scanning, I'm seeing a 35. Uh, that's the next one there. After 35, there's a 34 at C. So C is gonna come after I. Um, let's see, C was 34. Who's coming after 34? The next one I see is 24 at G. Um, after 24 comes K at 20. Um, after K, the next one would be H, which is at 10, followed by J, and that was the last task. And so this right here gives us our critical time priority list that we computed using the backflow algorithm.